temporarily offline, I'm calling you out. Stick around and we'll get right to it. So there's been a running joke between temporarily offline and myself in the fact that we tend to choose uh, some of the exact same bags for various projects that we've worked on or are currently working on. But I just don't think T.O. has got a bag this cool. So a bit of backstory on this bag and why I created it and put it together. If you just want to see the contents, then go ahead and jump to the timestamp that's listed on the screen right now. But a couple of years ago, I put together a toolkit and I'm very pleased with that toolkit. But this is it here. And you can see that this thing is just an absolute monster of a toolkit. Now it works great when I'm headed out for things like field day, but when I was headed to Orlando for Hamcation, I left that bag behind because, well, it just took up entirely too much room during that travel. Unfortunately, I found myself in a situation in Orlando uh, concerning my HT and getting it recharged, uh, recharging the battery. I was having a little bit of difficulties for that and it would have been extremely handy if I'd at least had a multimeter with me so I could have checked a few things and that would have helped me solve the problem quite a bit quicker. So after I returned from that trip, I went ahead and started putting together this little bag. Let's go ahead and jump to the overhead camera and take a look at the contents. Now, let me say right up front that this is not an end-all, be-all kit. We are not going to be building the Taj Mahal with this particular kit. I just wanted something really compact and small put together to help me do some basic repair and troubleshooting when I was traveling in a fairly compact package. This is a Maxpedition bag. I believe it measures five inches by seven inches and it's roughly two inches wide or at least supposed to be. I've got mine stuffed a little bit uh, so it might be exceeding that by just a touch. I will leave links to everything down in the description below if you're interested in any of the contents of this bag. Right out on the front I've got a custom morale patch that just lets me know what's inside this kit. I also on the outside keep a small carabiner. I find these things, these little bitty clip carabiners are super handy when I'm doing various things. I believe this is one of the ones that I used or one just like it when I was in the hotel room doing a Windlink connection during Hamcation. In this mesh pouch that's on the outside, I just keep a little bit of wire. So a couple of pieces here, one that's already got a power pole attached to one end and is bare on the other in case I needed to connect something to this to make a quick repair. And then literally like a two foot piece of zip cord that I keep in here as well. Now I do need to say that there are always two particular items that I carry with me every single day. The first one is the Leatherman Wave and some of the things you will see inside the kit are designed to work with this particular multi-tool. The other thing I keep with me every single day is a flashlight. So those two things work in conjunction with the bag. Now diving into the bag, first up on this side over here, we've got a set of Knipix, Knipix, however you say that, pliers. These are absolutely fantastic pliers. A little bit pricey, but if I'm replacing pliers at this point in my life, this is the only brand name that I'm purchasing. They've got unbelievable grip and will pretty much replace a crescent wrench. However, next up in the line is a small uh, four, four and a half inch crescent wrench that I keep in here. I believe the pliers are five inches in length. Right next to that, we've got some zip ties. Next to that, we've got a small um, double-ended screwdriver. So on one end, you've got a number one Phillips. Uh, this is reversible. It's got a flat on the other side of it. And then if we flip this around and take the cap off the other side, you get a number two Phillips and flat. So that gives me a little quick screwdriver that I can grab if I need one. In addition to that, I also keep the Leatherman ratchet device in here. And I've actually got this one locked right now. But this is a little ratcheting driver that accepts both quarter inch bits and it also accepts all of the Leatherman 2D bits. And I keep a couple of those underneath. So this gives me square drivers, it gives me torx drivers, it gives me 
Allen drivers, and it gives me a few more uh, options for flat and Phillips drivers. Also gives me a really tiny screwdriver right here on this very end that can be used for things like eyeglass repair. So that makes up uh, that and the ratcheting driver all made up with the Leatherman Wave that I keep in my pocket. In this pouch back here, I've got a small little clear uh, container and then a couple of credit cards uh, on top of that. The credit cards are one of these might actually be an old uh, room key uh, from a hotel, but I keep a little bit of electrical tape wrapped around this one so that if I needed just a touch of electrical tape, I've got it with me. It's probably somewhere around two, maybe three feet on there. In addition, I keep an old credit card here and on this one, I keep two or three feet of duct tape. Both of those are super handy to make quick repairs. Then inside this little plastic uh, container, and guys, I don't know where I got the plastic container. It was just uh, one that I had left over from another project. But in this, I keep all kinds of little bits and bobs that I might need. So things like spare fuses. There's a couple of little uh, connectors. This is 5.5 millimeter. And it's just got a couple of screw heads on the back so we can insert the wire here. Don't require any uh, solder to make this happen. We can simply snug down the screws and have a fairly solid connection until we can get back and make a proper repair. This device here is an adapter. So it goes from 5.5 millimeter down to Yezu size. I can't remember exactly what this is. If I can find the dimensions, I'll put it on the screen, but this is the connector that would be used for the Yezu uh, 817, 818 line of radios. It is also used in a couple of their HTs. So uh, specifically the Yezu FT5, and the FT70 both use this connector. And this is actually the connector that had gotten damaged when I was in Orlando or traveling to Orlando. And this is the part that I had to replace once I got home. But I like these little adapters because I have several other things that already take the 5.5 millimeter connector and just having one that I can adapt makes life or uh, makes things quick and easy. In addition to that, you'll find things like this little connector here. It's BNC on one end and banana plugs on the other. I use these to uh, build some antennas. Primarily in this particular kit, I can build up to a 20 meter dipole. Also keep an adapter on the end of it that will get me to SO239 should I need to use uh, a PL259 piece of coax. Uh, other things in here, a few ring terminals, a little bit of shrink tube, one uh, spare power pole connector. Also keep a spare one of these little guys in here. This is a little adapter that goes uh, from SMA female. Well, this is SMA male. If your radio is SMA female, it'll take it from that to BNC. And since I use BNC for all of my antennas now, I like to have a spare one of these little adapters with me. And I think the last two items in here are one uh, ferrite bead that I can put on a cable if I might be having some RFI issues, and then uh, three or four little insulators that can be used to build a quick antenna. Taking a quick peek at the other side, you see a hank of wire here that's 35 feet of wire. Again, enough to build up to a 20 meter dipole if I needed it. So I'm really only missing 40 and 80 meters in the field. Everything else can be built with this piece of wire and that banana clip adapter that you saw in the plastic case. In addition to that, I also keep a knife. Now this knife is a pretty neat little knife and one that I just stumbled across recently while browsing Amazon for this particular kit. This is called the SOG Kilowatt Knife and the primary reason I bought it is because it has wire strippers built into it. And these things actually work really, really well to be something so small. And hey, who can't use an extra knife in their kit? Right behind that, we've got about 15 feet of RG174 coax with BNC connectors on it. So just a spare piece of coax should the need arise. Last but not least in this kit is a very small multimeter which is exactly what I could have used when I was in Orlando to help figure out what was wrong with that HT charger. 
And then taking a look inside this zipper pocket that's in the back, I keep the directions for the multimeter. So Tio, I'm waiting on your response video. Everybody else, thanks for tuning in today. If you found this information useful, give us a thumbs up before you head off. We'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.